Hello, my name is Shirley Self, and I'm here to talk astrology. And tonight I wanted to talk about Pluto. Um, it's pertinent. Uh, the United States is getting ready to have its first of three Pluto returns. And I'm getting ready to have Pluto conjunct my Mercury. Yay! So, Pluto is on my mind, and so it seems appropriate to talk about it. This is, uh, well, Pluto, you know, rules sex and death, rules uh, birth and rebirth. So it rules Scorpio, and it rules Aries. It is the higher octave of Mars. Um, so here's our uh, United States progressed chart, progressed a year uh, for a day in the ephemeris, uh, progressed to uh, 20 February 2022. And um, this... Our progressed, uh, our progressed sun, our progressed nation, <laughs> is the moon phase 26. And here's a moon phase 26. Uh, this, in case you <laughs> didn't know, is the, uh, um, is the zodiac and is the diagram of the journey of the soul, the moon phases, the journey of the soul. Um, The, you know, the goal of this is to achieve a unique perspective, one that has endured all of these lifetimes and has gained a 360-degree perspective from one particular spot. And that is called, um, it's called the Stone of the Philosophers. It's a gift. It is a, a unique perspective, all your own. Anyway, here we have um, a... We are at the hut. We are the hunchback this year, and, and coming up in 2022. And uh, the hunchback is one of the wisdom phases, uh, 26, 18, 12, and four. And as you probably have noticed, living your life, that wisdom is gained by pain. And this has got to be the most painful phase in the whole, um, the whole cycle. 25, which precedes it, is a, uh, the culmination of power that has been gained in this whole cycle. It is uh, um, George Washington was of 25, and so was Mahatma Gandhi. Um, and so this expresses the power that has been gained. And here, um, and you have to, <laughs> this one, you cannot dodge it, um, it expresses the weakness and the uh, neglected um, powers that needed to have been built, that were available to have been built throughout this, this cycle. This will show where they have not been accomplished. This is our weakness, is, is manifest at Moon Phase 26. And uh, the thing about 26 is there's not much it can do about it. Notice that it's pretty much done what it has to do. Here's the result. And it's only thing it can do is to start over. Uh, over again at moon phase one. And we are going to have a new moon uh, in a, a couple of years. Three years. So, a moon phase 26. Mm -hmm. Its talent, its virtue, its clarity of vision. This is the card for Moon Phase 26 and um, 12. Yeah, I had to look and see. Okay, um, 26 and 12. And, um, and that's power. That's power. The clarity, be it, able to see uh, the truth is, uh, is, is the power of Moon Phase 26. Like I say, there's not much you can do about it at this gate except to take a deep breath and get itself ready. And notice these two ch um, phases here decide what's going to happen in the whole next cycle. And so 26 is a really important year for the United States because virtually we have to decide what it is we, we're, we're willing and able to do. We're able to do a lot. Are we willing? That's the question. The creative genius, okay, the creative genius for 26 and 12 is 18, no, 
26, the Creed of Genius is four. Uh, the Body of Fate is 18. And this is that, those cards. Yeah, I know this is a bummer of a card. It's, it means that if you want it, you actually have to get down and work for it. If you, uh, you have to walk the walk. Get off your high horse. Quit living in your head and get on with it. It's a hard card. It's ruled by Mars. So here's a U.S. Progress chart. And um, notice it's got Virgo on the Ascendant. Virgo, really, uh, a Virgo Ascendant is um, uh, built to serve. I mean, um, service is its motto. You know, it rules the sixth house of, uh, of um, health and service. And so that's... Uh, that's what our ascendant is now. That's what we need to do. We need to get to work. We need to get to work. The, that's the will. We have the will to work. We certainly have the knowledge. Um, but it's also going to require, you know, you have to use your mask. That's over here in the seventh house. And the mask, if the will can use its mask, it will succeed. It will succeed. And success is generally measured by... Um, uh, the midheaven, um, but it, it also is measured in when you look at the moon phases. It is measured by the creative genius. The creative genius here in the fifth house means that, um, and the body of fate up here. This is where the work has to be done. Do it. Do it. It means it. This is. Body of Fate is at 25, Taurus, 42. Creative Genius is at 25, Scorpio, 42. So um, Venus r rules the Body of Fate. And the Body of Fate is, um, uh, well, <laughs> you have to deal with it where you are now. And that is uh, the suffering, the suffering of the planet and the... Uh, our, our values have got to change, got to change. And um, we've got the Saturn-Venus opposition there. And so while the Saturn down here in the third house have been able to see what's going on, it is vindictive and it does not, it does not want to change. Notice that it's square to the Pluto. It's opposing the Venus. What we have to do, nobody wants to do that. Why? Well, it's obviously going to require sacrifice. And who's going to sacrifice? Well, the people that have more than they need. Those people are need to sacrifice. Do they want to? No, they're down here in the fifth house. They're plut plutocrats. Uh, are, uh, in the fifth house, they're busy playing with their money, and that's what they want to do. Playing with their money. Where do you start? You start up here at the wound. The wound, Chiron in Aries in the eighth house. Uh, you know what's wrong. You know what uh, needs to be um, transformed, uh, killed off, sacrificed, and uh, started, renewed. Um, and that's that Chiron, and that's where we have to start. Is whatever is eighth house is. <laughs> Virtually, you have to deal with your shit, really, right there. And so that's where we start. We got this Mars over here. <laughs> Doesn't really want to deal with, with um, well, the past, for instance. What up here, up here is reparations. I mean, um, the uh, Native Americans that we uh, massacred, uh, dispossessed, the um, black people that we enslaved, that is an issue right now. And it is primed to be repaired right now, because look at this Mars over there. And that means a great deal of energy needs to be put into that. And, um, and it's got this nice aspect to the Jupiter. Notice the Jupiter is at 15 uh, Cancer. The United States Sun is at 13 Cancer. Uh, and the United States has a weak will. The sun represents the will, as the ascendant represents the will. 
And uh, unfortunately, um, sun in Cancer is really insecure. What makes it secure is having that Jupiter conjunct. Um, and so having the Jupiter on uh, the sun is a big help to it. It makes it feel more secure. But it's got the North Node up there. And so that's asking us virtually to uh, organize ourselves. Organize ourselves. Get ourselves organized and so do we can we commit to uh, taking care of this huge problem that is facing us. The uh, Pluto doesn't want to. We can. Look at this Mercury-Moon conjunction here. It's uh, Mercury's in the sixth house. It knows what to do. Of course, we're still dealing with a pandemic that's also have to, has ruled by Pluto and Mars. Um, and so that's ongoing. And this also represents those people who say, um, my, my body, my choice. Now, when women chant that in the street, people ignore them. Why should we pay attention to somebody who doesn't want to wear a mask? I mean, seriously. Or get vaccinated. You know, I, was, I, I don't like needles. If I had uh, been able to deal with needles, I would have gone into the medical profession. But because I would fear and hate them, uh, I, I, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm an astro astrologer instead. Um, so I was afraid to get my shot. I didn't notice it. I turned my head back, and then I turned back to see she was putting a Band-Aid on. I felt a little... I, I wouldn't even call it a pinch. But anyway, these are new needles. These are not the needles that I was introduced to when I was working in uh, hospitals, uh, putting myself through college. Anyway, uh, so what do we got here? We, we've got um, we got some real issues here. The Uranus up there on the midheaven. <laughs> I think that has a lot to do with why people are saying take this job and shove it. Is uh, it's demanding freedom. Demanding freedom, freedom of choice, freedom of choice, and so people who uh, uh, don't want to wear a mask, or don't want to get a vac vaccinated, they're up there too. Um, and it's square the ascendant. This is not making you healthier. As people quitting their jobs is not making us healthier. People not wearing masks is not making us healthier. But anyway. Um, so we've got this miserable, um, we've got this miserable T-square, which means that people do not want to give up their lifestyle. Not at all. No, no way. No way, Jose. This over here, I put the um, earth over here. The earth in any chart is always opposite the sun. So this earth over here is important and uh, pay attention to it because it's right there in the first house, right there alongside the ascendant. It is, um, and it's in the 17th degree of Virgo. Look at that, 17, 17, 18, 15, 18. It's a very, it's a very, um, it's all connected in there. It's all connected. Um, <laughs> and we, there's no way to dodge out of what we have to do. This is an inconjunct here. This is an inconjunct. Um, it's the uh, it's the eighth it's a, the eighth house inconjunct. There's two kinds of inconjuncts. One is to the sixth, and that means you're sick, and that means where you have to work, where you will get sick. And the eighth house is um, uh, well, it's sex and death. And uh, so this is an eighth house. It's a, it's a death. Uh, in conjunct. This one is an illness in conjunct. And um, <laughs> the problem is these people seem like they're mired in cement. You know, they refuse to budge. So anyway, note that we've got the uh, creative genius line up here at 25 Scorpio Taurus. In the 20, It's in the 26th degree. So it's in the same degree as the nodes. Let's turn the page here and let's look at the uh, day of the uh, 
Pluto return. Look at the nodes. Here's the nodes right along our creative genius and uh, our body of fate. So it is uh, important that we, that we um, decide what we can do so that we gather our resources, so that we um, do a 26 thing is look at things clear, clearly and see what really needs to be done because the next cycle will have to do those things. Um, so here's the... Uh, Notice that this node is conjunct algo. This is here's another twenty six. So we needed another one, and this is the United States um, uh, moon at uh, twenty six uh, Aquarius. Our actually our moon is at twenty seven Aquarius. Here's Pluto. And this is the Pluto return. It's actually at 27 degrees 32. But if it's past the 30, I always round it up. Simply because I don't have room to put it all. Okay, on these anyway. So, um, the Neptune here is, a, you'll notice, uh, conjunct the prog progress sun. And that, that um, again, says sacrifice. Be willing to sacrifice. Um, we've got, let's see what I want. Um, the Mercury, where are you, Mercury, dear? And there you are. This is the United States South Node in the sixth degree of Aquarius. So, and, and the thing about the South Node is it's what you've got um, and what you have to work with. The North Node is what you really need to do with it. So the South Node there, it says we've, we've got the chops to do what we have to do. We know, deeply we know what we have, what needs to be done, and I uh, have the ability. N notice Fortuna is right up there. Now, Fortuna in the 8th house, it's 8th house and 12th house Fortunas and 6th house. Sixth house mean Fortuna there means that uh, you'll probably get a good job, <laughs> but you'll be in service. This means that uh, you'd be willing to sacrifice, perhaps. Um, over here, um, are you willing to transform? Are you willing to transform your whole system of doing just about everything? Aquarius has to do with uh, large groups and systems. Okay, we've got a uh, sun, oh, and this is powerful, sun, Jupiter, and Neptune. The uh, Neptune here is uh, opposite our natal Neptune. The Jupiter is square, our natal uh, ascendant, which is at 12 Sagittarius. Um, so, okay, and the Mars, the Mars Venus there, that's in conjunct the ascendant, and and that has to do with uh, uh, life or death. It's an issue. This is a big issue, life or death, because it's the uh, uh, it's the Scorpio in conjunct, and it's even into the Scorpio house. An awful, a awful lot of death we have seen. And we're not seeing the end of it either. It looks Capricorn's there. Capricorn, pretty stable, ongoing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, and okay, we got the uh, moon, Neptune, and conjunct there. And, uh, and that's more of that. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to do what I have to do. It's not fair. And trying to be fair about what we have to do is going to be very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Um, so this, <laughs> you'll love this. Uh, the Pluto return here this day is a moon phase 18. <laughs> Let's look at this again. Moon phase 18 is the body of fate of 26. So the you know mutual body of fate there, um, moon phase eighteen 
if you remember, the United States is moon phase 18. And what that, and 18 has this terrible, terrible job of giving up its ideal life in order to focus on what needs to be done. Focus on something that it has a talent for doing and, uh, and that will transform the world. And that's the job of an 18, but to give up that ideal. Now, the United States has got to give up its ideal of, uh, of uh, it's a, and it's a traditional idea, ideal for um, powerful nations, is uh, conquest. And uh, the United States needs to give up its ideal of conquest and uh, uh, work on an ideal of sacrifice. For the benefit of the world. Sacrifice. To give to the world. And the United States, you know, we've got all those uh, cancer planets right over here in um, taking care of other people. Caring for other people. But we've also got that square to Saturn, which is, says, eh, no, um, not those people. Okay. And the Neptune up there in, the, uh, in that miserable Neptune, it's, you know, it's in its... Uh, it's in its fall, and it's uh, it's in Virgo, and so it can say, "Oh, I don't think you're deserving of my help," and we have to deal with that. Who's deserving? Everybody. Gee, come on! You think we're not all having to deal with this world in our own way? Some of us, obviously, more successful than others. Anyway, um, so uh, that's the. Uh, that's the uh, uh, our Pluto return. That's what that day is going to be like. And and our moon is right there. The United States moon is right there. We got the Saturn and Fortuna and the Mercury. So we've got uh, we know how to do. We have uh, the United States is incredibly uh, uh, creative. The people. And I think that comes from uh, coming from all over the world and um, virtually abandoning tradition so that we've had to reinvent ourselves. And a very, I think a very uh, good job we've done. So, it, uh, the fact that it's an 18 means that um, it, this realization that comes with a... Uh, this Pluto return, <laughs> coupled with the realization that we're having because of a moon phase 26 progressed chart. Um, so we can see what, ha what, ne what needs to be done. Notice this, the sun rules the third house of, oh, I'm all right. I can, I see clearly now. Um, and is accepting of its guilt. That's another thing that the United States are we're having trouble doing is that that we feel really guilty, and that that's Pluto, guilt, guilt, and so we have managed to uh, that. Remember, our uh, uh, United States chart has its Pluto in opposition to Mercury, and so a, we, a denial of that guilt is. Uh, has been and is ongoing. It's in our books and everything. We um, we don't uh, we really don't want to judge ourselves as uh, as cruel as, um, for instance, Rome. But we are. We were. We have been. We have been. And um, so it's time to start over. It's time to start over. We're having a new moon soon. And um, that'll be, I think, a good thing. Anyway, um, for the moon phase uh, t uh, 18, this is the card for moon phase 18. Yes. Yes. Do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Okay. Um, I'm hoping you're all uh, surviving well. And um, I'm getting more and more reclusive, and I hope that it doesn't become a permanent problem with me. Um, I'm still making masks, and I'm hoping that you're wearing your mask and staying safe. Um, I enjoy not getting the flu or, or colds. Um, but still, 
it's really hard to talk to you through a mask. Let's hope this pandemic, that we get on top of it soon, that um, the, the people who have been uh, holding out uh, will uh, reevaluate their position and join the rest of us and uh, fight this thing as best we can. Anyway, I pray that you're well and that you're, uh, you're, it's getting to be Christmas and I'm hoping that, you're, uh, that your loved ones are, are safe and that um, and you are too. Bye-bye.